Hi, nice to meet you all. I'm Chen, a degree student from the Department of Electronic Engineering in Southern University. Today, I would like to share our capstone project prototypes to you all with a demonstration on the operation to this machine. Before I start the sharing, let me introduce what is an MDM. The full name of an MDM is Automated Medicine Dispenser Machine. Yes, I know that. You might have already imagined that. How does the machine will work from its name? The motivation to develop this machine is we would like to produce a machine that able to bring convenience to the elder that require long-term medication. Because after we conduct a public survey to a person who aged more than 50 years old, we found that more than 83.3% of participants admit that they have forgotten to take their medicine before. Not only that, for the survey we also found that more than 81.9% of elders say that they will feel confused when the new medication prescription is given by the doctor. These survey results are very unbelievable, right? Maybe taking a medicine on time is not a difficult task for the young people, including me. But it doesn't mean that the elder people will not having any issue. Forgotten to take medicine or taking the wrong medication prescription is a serious issue which might bring negative effect to the patient health and it should be avoided. Therefore, our team had decided to develop a machine which is able to bring convenience to the elder people and a machine that able to prepare the medicine automatically. Now, let's look at the machine and I'm going to share a specification for this AMDM V1.0. The main structure of this machine is built by using the aluminum profile due to its flexible and adjustable characteristic. Other than that, there are more than 80 pieces of 3D printer parts which all the parts are customized to work in this machine. For this machine, we have built three medicine box for demonstration which can be used with most of the solid type of medicine by changing the internal medicine zip. No worry, the medicine box is expandable. There are a lot of external communication capabilities has been designed for this machine, which the user can select the model based on their requirement. Of course, each of the medicine stops will have their own LED, which is used to indicate the status of inserted medicine box. The white color is representing as normal, orange color is representing as unauthorized box, and for the red color will show when the temperature or humidity is abnormal in the medicine box. The other highlight to this machine are it having the individual LCD screen, which is used to show the status of the machine to the user. At first, we decided to let all the messages directly show on the user phone via apps. But we consider that as our main targeted consumer is elder people, which most of them are not familiar with the operation of handphone apps. So we decided to make it standalone, which can directly interact with the user. To ensure that the dispensed medicine is strictly followed to the medicine prescription that provided by the doctors, each of the medicine slots are mounted with two IR sensors to detect the dropping of medicine. Moreover, there is one more safety checking mechanism on the AMDM, which is called as weighing arm. The weighing sensor has been integrated to the weighing arm to measure the weight of total dispensed medicine. Now, let's look on the main PCB of the AMDM. The main controller that we use in this project is Arduino Mega. The Arduino Mega has 54 digital I/O pin and 16 of analog input pin, which is suitable to use in this project. The stepper motor on the medicine slot and the conveyor is driven by the a 49 ax stepper motor driver, which has output drive capacity of up to 35 watt and up to 2 MP of output current per coil. Moreover, to make the machine has more possibility. The ESP826 Wi-Fi module has been added to provide a linking channel within the machine and the IoT system. Of course, there are a lot of features can be added to this machine with the existing of Wi-Fi function, such as the over the air update OTA function and remote access. Another highlight to this machine is the Bluetooth function that provided by the HC06 Bluetooth module to interpret short-range wireless data communication within the machine and the user's smartphone. Without talking too much on the hardcore information, let's start the demonstration section. But wait, before we enter into the demo section, there is one thing I would like to let you all know. Since this AMDM is a demo prototype, so there are some of the features has been disabled, such as type alert and medicine empty remind function. But no worry, this function can be easily enabled afterwards. This machine has the initial self-test function, which means that it will check all the sensor and device that connected to the membrane. The machine power button is located at the side of the machine, which can be easily operated by the user. Now, let's power on the machine. When the power is received, the LED on the start button will turn on. At first, 
The machine will check on the LED on the control panel and the LED status indicator for the medicine slot, followed by checking the conveyor and the waiting arm. At the same time, the machine also controls the conveyor V by turning backwards to remove all the unwanted items to the dispose box. The machine will continue by checking all other devices and it will show the message system ready when the initial self-test function has been complete. After showing the message, the date and time will be shown on the LCD and the start button LED will keep display in breathing style to indicate the machine is ready. After the system is boot, the first thing that the user needs to do is inserting the medicine box to the medicine slot on the machine. I know that most of you might ask, is it the medicine box can be inserted randomly? Yes, of course, this medicine box can be inserted randomly, just the user need to scan the medicine box ID to the RFID sensor before inserted to the medicine slot. Now I also know that you would like to ask, what if the user forgotten to scan the ID before insert the medicine box? No worry, what you have considered, our development team has also considered before. When the user forgotten to scan the ID before insert, the target medicine slot LED will turn to orange color to indicate that this medicine box is an unauthorized medicine box. The system will not continue if the user does not remove the unauthorized medicine box. After the doubt has been answered, now we can start inserting the medicine box. As mentioned before, the machine support randomly insert, so I'm going to choose either one of the boxes. To remember, the user need to scan the medicine box before inserted to the slot. Let us scan the ID first. By scanning the ID to the machine, the system will be able to obtain the name of the medicine and shown on the LCD screen. After that, the LED of the MD slot will start bringing green colors to indicate that the slot is ready to accept the medicine box. When inserted, the system will now update the report and it will show complete once the updating process is completed. The same step for the follower medicine box and let me insert all of them first. Now, all the medicine boxes has been inserted, and you can observe that all the slot LED has turned white color, which represents all the boxes are in good condition. Basically, all the medication record of the user has been recorded in the database, which means that the user will only be required to scan its ID, and the system will automatically obtain the user information from the database. I'm going to demo how to operate the machine to dispense the medicine. Before I proceed, I would like to show you the medication information on the top of the ID card. As you can see, for this user 1, it's mentioned that the quantity of chlorotherydone is 1, 2 for the Google pages, and 1 for the statins. The first step is to scan the ID. The system will show the name of the user when the ID is successfully recognized. Now, the next step is to press the start button. The machine will perform a checking program before dispensing the medicine. Once the checking is complete, the medicine will begin to dispense. After all the required medicine has been dispensed, the machine will now be transferring the medicine to the waiting arm. The machine will start measuring the weight of the dispenser medicine to check the quantity is correct or not. Once the measurer weighting is fulfilled with the expected weight within the preset tolerance range, the system will now open the servo arm and transferring the medicine to the user side. The overall dispensing time including checking and measuring is around 20 seconds, which can be considered fast for the user. The one of the significant highlights for this machine is it support more than one user to use this machine, because we found that sometimes there are more than one patient in one family. Now, I'm going to show you the dispensing progress for the another user.
it is believing that sometimes the user might forget to insert the medicine box or the medicine has finished. But no worry, this is because the machine will check the availability of each of the requested medicine before executing the dispensing program. If the machine found that any one of the medicine is not available, the message will be displayed on the LCD screen for the user reference. Some of the user might ask, what if the machine accidentally dispenses extra medicine? Actually, we are confident with our dispensing mechanism, but we still design another set of programs to respond with this case. Let us do the experiment. I manually add one of the medicine to the conveyor during dispensing. Now, wait until it's transferring to the waiting arm. From the LCD, we can observe that the visual way is different from the expected way. The system will judge the dispensing result as failed. When the dispensing result is failed, the conveyor B will turn reversely and send the medicine to the disposing box. Of course, we are strongly not encouraged that the user to reuse the disposed medicine or simply throw it to the dustbin. Because both actions might cause a negative effect to the health of the user or harmful to the environment. So we have provided a sign at the side of the disposing box to indicate the user do not simply throw the disposed medicine to the dustbin. The QR code also has to be provided which will redirect the user to the website of Ministry of Health Malaysia to find out the station of pharmacy that opening for the public to return their unwanted medicine. That's all the sharing today. I understand that this prototype still has a lot of imperfection. One of the reasons is due to the limitation of development lead time. Because for this project, we only take around 2-3 to three months to develop from nothing until the current result. During these two to three months, we still need to focus on our study, design all the parts, circuit, logic, and programming in order to come out this machine. During the development times, we also have faced a lot of obstacles. To ensure the best outcome can be produced, there is a lot of 3D printer parts we have rejected, modified the program again and again, and finally come out the current prototypes. It is hope that if we have the chance to develop an actual product that really can serve the public in the coming future. By the way, if you have any recommendation or idea to this project, you are welcome to let us know. It's time to say goodbye with you all. Thanks for watching and appreciate if you can leave a like to this video. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye.